Hey, what's happening guys? Today I'm playing around a little bit with the oscilloscope and the arbitrary waveform generator. I'm trying to see what is the fastest pulse width that I can generate on the AWG and how that corresponds with what is the fastest pulse width that I can read on the oscilloscope. So before we get started, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Solder Stick. And we'll talk more about them later. So right now we're looking at the uh, arbitrary waveform generator. And you can see I have a, uh, whether it be one megahertz signal. And I've got it set for pulse width modulation with a pulse width of 10 microseconds and a period of one microsecond. So if, whoa, hello there. Sorry about that. If we go and take a look here at the old oscilloscope, you can start to see what we're talking about. For instance, our pulse width here is 12 nanoseconds. And if you recall what we have set on the generator, I can't zoom in any closer, but is 10 microseconds, so it's relatively close. Our voltage uh, is 3.6 volts peak to peak. Small problem there, I didn't turn off my uh, probe back to 1x because I'm using the BNC cable. There we go. So we're at 3.6 volts peak to peak. <clears throat> our period is one microsecond, which is what I have set in there. And our rise time is 12 nanoseconds. If I come out here a little bit, you can see on the scope, there's our actual pulse, and it is reading it at 10 point, or 10 nanoseconds on the rise time. All right, so I'm going to come over to the uh, waveform generator. Whoops, I just bumped it again. I'm going to change this pulse width. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Pulse width. To 9 microseconds. And you can see. We're showing a pulse width of 8 microseconds. Or eight nanos, 9 nanoseconds. We're doing 0 0.009 microseconds. So yeah, it works out. And our rise time is now down to 7 nanoseconds. Let's take it down to 7 microseconds. I'm not seeing any difference there. All right, let's take it down to 5. Oops, pardon me. Adjust my trigger. So about 7 nanoseconds is the fastest rise time I can get off this oscilloscope, which is not really a problem. This is actually fine. Two. Okay, as I said, this video is sponsored by Solder Stick, and one of their products is the T-Tap Connectors, also known as Insulation Displacement Connectors. Super easy to use. Let's say you have a wire in your car, or your boat, or your motorcycle, whatever. Say this is a you know twelve volt wire, and you need a connection off of this to run something. Well, find the right one. This is an eighteen gauge wire, so twenty two to eighteen gauge is red. All you got to do is put it in here. I'm just using a regular old pair of pliers. <laughs> Perhaps a bigger pair of pliers would have been a better choice, but you know, we work with what we got, right? We get that guy clipped on there, and now all you need is this mating buddy, which in this case is a little 
spade connector that you can just throw onto a piece of wire that you need. In this case, I'm going to use crimpers, but you can get away without crimpers if you have to. Got to get everything lined up properly. Once you do, you just give her a good squeeze. For <laughs> me, my eBay crimpers did not work out so well for that particular situation. Then this plugs into here with a nice solid click. And now you have your 12 volts coming off of there. Pretty simple. Anybody can do it. Solder stick. I'll put a link down below for a discount. So I've been having some fun playing with this scope. This is the Kiprim DS1202. I got this in November last year for, I think it was right around 200 bucks, like 189 or maybe it was 209 but it's like somewhere right in that range. And, if, and as you recall... I'm telling you guys, this is an 01 scope with a different name and a blue colored plastic on it. Now here's something interesting I found. Let me bring up the measurement panel. And I'm going to remove all of our measurements. Now let's add a new one onto channel 1 here. and Let me adjust the camera so you guys can see better. Whoops, let's hit that again, measure. Okay, add channel one. Look at everything that they have available here. These measurements, this is really nice. So we have period and frequency, which are of course opposite of each other. Mean, which is you know kind of an average. Peak to peak, RMS, root mean square, another average. Max, min, top, base. Amplitude, overshoot, under pre-shoot, Rise time, fall time, pulse with positive, pulse with negative, duty cycle, duty cycle. Delay A over B, delay over B with a falling edge, our cycle RMS, cursor RMS, screen duty cycle, phase, pulse count, rising edge count, falling edge count, area. That is just so cool. Lots of stuff. That's everything that's available there. And that, you know, that's pretty cool for a $200 oscilloscope. So let me try something else here. Okay, what I got set up now is a pulse. Uh, Generator is going to generate a hundred pulses So if we come over here to the oscilloscope You can see right here I have a pulse counter Let me hit the trigger Keeps counting 38. Interesting. Let me try something here. Let's change the number of pulses we send out to 500. It's not finding it. Very weird. Let's go back here. Your auto set. Back. Try 
trying to get them all on the screen. Much adjusting. There we go. Come on. Okay, so now we're seeing 96 out of 500. Don't get it. Try again. Ninety six out of five hundred. Okay, I got everything in place. Here are twenty three pulses. Come on. There we go. And it's still showing me seven. I don't get it. Why are you telling me there's seven? Now, okay, now it's telling me there's twenty two. A little bit confusing. So while its measurements are pretty nice, it does lack a bit in the trigger department. You can see the only types of triggers we have are really edge and video. So that is, uh, yeah, that's what you get for a $200 oscilloscope, okay? It's not gonna decode any buses. You're getting what you get. And I'm, I'm not complaining. For a $200 oscilloscope, this does quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit indeed. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm just playing around with the oscilloscope today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the link down below for a good deal on solder stick. That's it. I'm out. Peace.